What's good with my people, y'all? We in the kitchen. We benefiting our body like usual. You know, I'm cooking up a little something, something. But uh, today, uh, I have something else on my mind. I know probably a lot of people have already heard about, you know, Nipsey Hussle getting shots and all that. And, uh, you know, just hearing that just breaks my heart. Just, you know, it doesn't break my heart really, you know, but it just, it kind of, it kind of makes me mad, you know. It kind of, it kind of makes me angry. It kind of makes me upset. And it motivates me at the same time because of the route that I have chosen with my music and with my life, period. And, you know, I'm on that same path that Nipsey's on. I'm on the same path that Dr. Sabu's on. You know, slowly but surely, um, I'm making my way up there and I'm going to be pushing the same messages, you know? And yeah, that's, that's, that's it's kind of scary at the same time, you know, just to think about, even though we're living to be bold and and, and God mode and all that, you know, we can't be scared of the enemy that's trying to oppress know our freedom and and we can't be afraid of you know losing our lives for what we love I'd rather lose my life for what I love than you know just to be out here doing nothing or or you know game banging you know what I mean like people lose their lives for things that don't mean nothing at all so it's like you know, you, you gotta you gotta have the power and the fearlessness in you. So much love to everybody that continues to support what Nipsey got going on and just the movement that he was pushing with Dr. Sabi and I hope this brings more light to Dr. Sabi. And I hope this brings more awareness to the people that, you know, this is bigger than uh, music and us having money and us having all these nice things, you know what I mean? It's about culture, it's about creating a legacy for not just your family, but for, you know, other people to be able to come behind you and use what you have set forth. Uh, so that they can be as successful as well. So again, I'm just I'm just gonna use it as, as energy. You know what I mean? Because we are all energy. You know, and we just have to learn how to express our energy in a more productive, positive, but at the same time, uh, not always positive. And I'm not gonna say that positive word like like just do good, just do good, just do good, like. Like, if they out here are killing us, and we just gotta do good, like, no. Like, you know, so, if you're fighting for what you love, fighting is an action, and it's violent, but it's positive if you're doing it for what you love, so that's what I promote. And, we just gotta keep the fight up, y'all, so, hey, keep on keeping at it. Stay in God mode, you know, and, Man, just do what you gotta do, y'all. And another thing that I was just talking about as far as like, you know, when you have a lot of power and a lot of responsibility, like you gotta have a big force behind you, security, all of those things, you know what I mean? Like people out here spending hundreds of thousands of dollars for chains and cars and all types of other stuff that don't got nothing to do with nothing, but then we ain't protected enough. You know what I mean? How could how could they gun this man down in the street or in front of his store and nobody follow him or you know what I mean? Like none of that. It should have been he should have had some bodyguards with him. He should have had somebody across the street in a car, somebody down the street in a car, somebody else, just security guards, you know what I mean? Just just on the lookout. We gotta, we gotta treat ourselves like the president. We gotta 
we are the president, y'all. Especially when we have, uh, when we pushing something of value for the people. I'm telling you. Hello. Mm -hmm.